Well, we're here today to promote the walk in Avondale, um, in Wicklow, and this is um, to show public support against the proposed privatisation of public forests. And we've chosen Avondale because of its significance, uh, historically, with reforestation issues. Uh, Samuel Hayes in the 1790s planted the estate with mixed uh, native uh, hardwoods with a view towards reforestation of Ireland and to encourage the reforestation. He also wrote the only book on tree planting and management of woods in Ireland in 1794. Um, Hayes became, um, he was probably connect, he was connected with the United Irishmen and it's significant in a way that we stand beside Wolf Tone, who led the United Irishmen. Actually, our, you know, Quilch and the Irish Forests are incredibly important. The uh, public really value the access that they have. That access is going to be restricted hugely if you try and mix the public with machinery, very heavy machinery. You turn it into a lumber industry uh, rather than public forests. Um, I think from an environmental point, point of view, we require our forests as a, as a major carbon sink. It's hugely so, short-sighted. And I also, to, to sell them off, or to sell the harvesting rights for up to 80 years, and I also think that there's major tourism potential. Uh, we already have a very closed arrangement in relation to access onto lands, uh, you know, mostly farmlands in the country. And the last thing we need to be do, doing is restricting people's access. I'm here today because I believe our forests are precious. Uh, in Stigo Leitrim, I don't know if you know the area, but we have the most beautiful forests, lakes, rivers, mountains and hills. And I think it would be sinful to sell off the, what has been for generations in the ownership of the Irish people. Past generations, this generations, and we need to protect them for, for future generations of Irish people. I don't accept what government are saying, that they're merely selling off the forests of the land. What we're doing is we're handing over a control of access to the land to private individuals, investors who want to make money out of it. It's an Irish resource, an Irish asset, and shame on any government and shame on any political system that will allow that to be sold from under the feet of Irish people of this and future generations. Because certainly uh, all Irish citizens need to understand what's happening about the, the sales of our, or the harvesting rights. I mean, we own our banks and we should continue to own our forests and the right uh, to make an assessment not only to citizens but also to our tourists and our international visitors. I'm here to support this campaign because I think Quilta are doing a fantastic job. They're an Irish success story, uh, they're making money uh, and they're not using state subsidies. So why should we strip it, as a strip, one of our great cultural assets, which is our forests and our right to walk in uh, and across our lands? Well, I think it's absolutely essential that public representatives and citizens organise to defend our natural resources and to defend our economic future. The sale of harvesting rights of Irish forests would make Ireland an outlier right across the developed world. Instead of selling it off and privatising our harvesting rights, we should be developing them to create jobs and growth and to invest in our economy. In my opinion, the government must be resisted in any attempt to sell off our harvesting rights and that this is a matter that affects every single citizen in our republic. And that's why I'm pledging my support to this campaign today. Well, we urgently want to ring the alarm bells uh, for the public about the threat to our public forests. Incredibly, the government are planning to sell off the entire public forest estate to pay off the gambling debts of bankers, and it's quite likely that banks will end up owning our public forests. Uh, it really is an act not just of economic sabotage, but it is a betrayal of our culture and our history. Uh, and that's also why we're delighted that very prominent actors and musicians, poets and writers are going to be participating in our walk in the woods uh, in Avondale House, which is the birthplace of Jar Charles Stuart Parnell and the birthplace of modern Irish forestry to really highlight uh, this disgraceful threat to what is an absolutely precious cultural and historical and economic asset for the people of this country.